Good, beautiful, peaceful morning to you. Today is a day for another train journey. Well, we have had a wonderful time in Yogyakarta or Jogja and I've had fantastic weather to go with it. Not a drop of rain despite one day, actually the first day it threatened rain and one day this great big grey cloud came up, but no rain. It's been blue skies. It has been quite hot except when I went up higher in the mountains where I felt the cool breeze. Merapi yesterday was uh, beautiful and cool and I got nicely toasted but unfortunately it is time to leave as always Yogyakarta is a bit of a not enigma but the traffic and driving around is quite intimidating uh, if you're driving around yourself now if you're a bit experienced on a scooter when you go on the main road it is manically busy I mean and the driving is quite crazy really if you drive if you're not experienced in driving don't do it um, you know get a car and a driver is the easiest way to do it to take a lot of stress away from your time here um, driving a car will take a bit longer you can rent a car and drive yourself, but for not much extra, you can get a driver who generally knows the best routes to go and can deal with all the issues of driving through the traffic and dealing with all the scooters that will inevitably mob you as you drive around. I mean, let me show you what it's like. Once you come off the main routes and you just delve down a little bit, look at this place I'm at now. Okay, it's a sort of localish area, but I'm very close to the centre. Where I'm staying is the same. One road down, it's hectically busy. My street, nothing at all, which is why I picked it. And uh, now I'm just walking to my breakfast point. I came off the main road where it was just crazy busy. And then I walk along here and there's practically nothing. But even when you're walking down the paths and things, like I am now, you still have to be busy. The bikes will take anything they need as a shortcut to get from one place to another. So you do have to keep your wits about you. Generally, the drivers are in the quiet places are okay with the pedestrians as well. Crossing a main road. I mean, driving is manic here, if you're driving. Being a pedestrian is even worse. Crisscrossing roads, nobody stops at crossing. People don't really even stop at a traffic lights. And see, here I am walking down the path and uh, take a shortcut from one road to another via the path. Um, <laughs> oh, I see my breakfast point. So yes, being a pedestrian in the cities in, so far, Jakarta, Bogor, and uh, Jogjakarta is not a pretty thing to do. It, it's, it's quite intimidating. Even if you have to walk to like your breakfast point, um, or your lunch in the evening, just crossing the road becomes quite nerve-wracking and intimidating. But we did make it, and now, even better. <laughs> But there we are, farewell Yogyakarta. It's been a great time. There is a lot to see in this area. I have just touched the surface of it. I've tried to show you the highlights of Jogja, but there's a lot more to see. It, uh, you could easily spend a week here, but you could also sort of squeeze in the things, but it can be quite tiring because a lot of things you want to get up early in the morning for. Certainly the temples, you want to get there to be early in the morning, beat the crowds and beat the heat. Even um, I've noticed the weather patterns 
generally it's clearer in the mornings getting cloudy and very hot midday to the afternoon and but sometimes it's been clearing for sunset but very hazy still at the sunset's time even when I went out to Mount Merapi yesterday which was absolutely beautiful um, went up to the viewpoint to look at the mountain turn around to look over the valley but the view was so hazy couldn't see much because uh, that might vary with time of year but I've enjoyed my time here it's been relaxing I think you could squeeze everything in a quite a busy three to four days five days would mean you could um, see both temples and do an outside trip and have a relaxing time quite nicely and uh, yes I, I would recommend certainly if you're in a group hiring a, a taxi or a, a car with a driver is probably the most relaxing route and probably the cheapest route because if you get two three uh, or even four of you in a car the price comes down per person quite quickly and you don't have to have the stress of driving through the traffic you can sit back in the aircon and enjoy being taken from place to place you can rent a car either to a specific trip or just per a day giving them a guide as to where you're going to go and they'll give you a cost for basically the drive of the vehicle and the fuel cost because um, that does limit flexibility a little bit um, if you're confident rent a motorbike and certainly if there's just one of you or even two of you renting a bike can still be very economical but you do have to be confident driving through this traffic um, and of course you'll be out in the sun and the rain and the heat whatever the weather is but um, worth the visit definitely I made to the station, hopefully in plenty of time, there we go, Station Yogyakarta, and uh, I'll step up on the path here, I didn't get dropped into the station because it's quite tricky for the drivers to drive in and drive out, and you pay extra, when there's a little entrance right here, walk into the station, if you haven't printed out your ticket, you then have to print out your boarding pass, before you go in, snacks for the train, morning ma. Um, and now I have to find where to go. So yes, when you get here, if you haven't printed out your boarding pass, you go up here, and there's the ticket machines. I printed mine out in advance so I didn't have to get up so early this morning, <laughs> so I had a bit of extra time to have breakfast. Now, into the station ticket counter, customer service, up oh, this big step, oh, they do like big steps here and there. And hopefully, I'm getting my passport and ticket, and let's go in.
It is a lovely train ride. It's, um, it's quite busy, but there's really a lot of space in the seats. Um, there's toilets at either ends. They come back by regularly with coffee and snacks and food. The scenery is beautiful and you've got a PowerPoint for charging your phone. I downloaded some videos on my phone, watched them on the way, had a couple of naps and generally chilled through the ride. I'm now about I estimate if we're on time, we left exactly on time, um, hopefully arriving in the next 20 minutes in Surabaya. Bagi anda yang akan mengakhiri perjalanan di stasiun Surabaya Gubel. Dear passengers, in a moment, Rangga Jati train will arrive at Surabaya Gubel station. For those of you who will end your trip at Surabaya Gubel station, please prepare yourself. Check your luggage and belongings. Make sure that nothing is left behind. For your safety, it is forbidden to open the train door before the train completely stops. Thank you for choosing train services from Indonesian Railways Company. See you on your next trip. Okay, so we are off the train at Surabaya. Uh, now I'm stuck between two trains. It's gonna work. Everybody's going down this way, so I assume the way out is down here. Welcome to Surabaya. Now I'm just waiting for my Grab taxi to get my accommodation. Thank you very much. Yes. Drive safe. And I have arrived. It's actually quite away from uh, where I'm staying, away from the centre. I didn't realise it would take so long. It took 40 minutes by grab ride. But I now am in a place where I don't really have to leave because this is a complex tower above a big shopping centre, which I'll show you around later. But first, after getting my key, let me show you the accommodation. Here we go. No and quite a big, huge bed. TV here. So I'm sort of uh, just sort of passing through Surabaya, so I'm not sure I'll be able to show you much of the actual city, but here's my accommodation. Oh, and it's got aircon. 